Why do raindrops drop, but snowflakes fall? If Barbie is so popular, why do you have to buy her friends? And why do holes appear in marble floors, even though you took the necessary precautions? In today's video, we're going to show you how to repair holes in your marble floor and showcase a great product so that you can go from stuff like this that progressively gets worse to a filled hole like this, which you can get even better if you play around with the coloring of the filler. You're going to be able to tell that the fill holes are there, but from up top, now that I've pointed it out, you can see it. But here, there are about 30 filled holes. See if you can spot them all. Let's go. The first step is go through your office and find all of the holes and mark them with masking tape. For example, I would observe a deficiency here and mark it with masking tape. For the purposes of this video, I'm actually filming this halfway through the procedure. My main objective was to film one hole, so I did not film putting masking tape everywhere. But it is easy to make too much paste in this video as shown, so I would recommend being the most efficient as you can with this paste that we're about to make. The first step, <clears throat> first step is to clean up. So grab your vacuum cleaner and vacuum the hole. This is what it looks like, all clean. You're going to need the kit itself to repair holes, voids, or missing travertine fill. Something to mix the kit in the water with and then also spread it around so I just had an old disposable pen, a plastic putty knife, putty spreader, or disposable cardboard to even it over when we're done, and a small container filled with a little bit of water. Contains Portland cement and crystalline silica. Close the container after you choose. Use only with adequate ventilation. Do not breathe dust. Ensure fresh air entry during application and drawing. If you experience eye watering, headaches, or dizziness, wear an appropriate properly fitted respirator, notch approved during and after application. Oh, it's made by Rustoleum. Cool. So if you take a look at these two powders, you'll see that they come in a lighter consistency and a dark consistency. Now you can mix and mash these as you mix them in your water cup for the exact color that you need. I eventually got lazy and so I like started using exclusively white because it's difficult to spot, even if you're using purely white. So this is another reason why I like this stuff by Rust-Oleum, this Miracle Travertine fill kit. For the purposes of this demo, I'm going to switch it up. Why don't we exclusively try this powder, which again, you can mix and match to get exactly the color that you need. You may ask, why do I have this container over here full of water? with what seems like settled powder. That's because I did use this kit a few months ago, as you can see over time. Top layer dries out here. Forms these rocky, rocky chunks rather than the powdery consistency. And those rocky chunks are actually not usable. What I just tried earlier is starting this video and mixing it in, but all of the powder settled at the bottom because it picked up moisture from the air. Another cool thing about this kit is that it's kind of like self-protecting. The top layer will dry out, at which point you must discard it, but the powder underneath is good. A bit of fresh powder from the bottom here. And I'm going to shift over to doing this outside because there's too much fine powder being released into the air to do it indoors. So pro tip, do this outside on your moldy patio table. Okay, this is still too liquidy, so let's keep adding powder. For the hole that I've shown, I'm definitely making too much, by the way, of this mix. So if you want to learn from my mistake, probably use less of this kit. So we have a moist paper towel, our cardboard, and this spudger slash spackle paste spreader. It's been about a minute and the paste is a decent consistency here, not too thick, not too, not too viscous, not too watery. We just pour it into the hole. Nicely, slowly, and carefully. And let's spread it around a bit so it gets under, goes everywhere, work those air pockets, work the air bubbles, fix anywhere it might not have gone into. What's going to happen is when it dries, it's also going to shrink a little bit. 
So when that happens, it's going to sink in. At that point, we make more paste. So as you can see, I made way too much. At this point, we can go all over the other spots in the floor where we want it. What we can also do is kind of a trick. I learned if you can see mine is too dark, we can take a bit of the white powder and sprinkle it on top and mix it in. But I'm okay with this dark color over here. Obviously, you can experiment with the specific shade of it. Now we spread it with the card a little bit. As you can see, we might need a little bit of more here. I'm not filling any more holes, so I was just making a YouTube video. Take the wet rag and just wipe the excess off. Be careful not to get it from the main part. Now we're going to let it dry. If you have small mistakes, I'm going to leave the small mistake here on purpose because I will show you once this all dries, I'm going to give it a couple of hours how to correct mistakes like these on the right hand side. It's going to be super quick and super easy. As we can see, we definitely have an indentation here. In the next part of the video, we'll show you a cool trick with this kit to actually get this lighter if we do decide to change the color in the future. For now, I'm just going to let this dry and not use the office for a little while. Unfortunately, we're going to have to throw this amount out. So learn from my mistake and use a lot less water and a lot less powder. But at this point, you can go through the office and use the remaining paste if you hadn't done this to fill in all the other holes. Maybe ahead of time, you wanna mark them with masking tape. We started this, started drying at 5.30. When we come back, it's going to be a little recessed here. So let's remember the position. It's 6.30 now, so it's been an hour. In most cases, superficially, most of the plugged holes with this kit would be fine. As you can see, it still looks a little bit moist. We're definitely not going to touch it. Definitely not going to roll over it with a chair, but you can see it's dipping a little here. And what we'll do shortly is because we've used so much of the darker mix, ideally we would have mixed it initially into the perfect color and perfect ratio to get the perfect final result that we want. But because it is perfectly acceptable here to use the white color over it after we're done, which is going to be a pretty cool pro tip. We'll just mix up some of the white paste to balance out which paste we have used. So this is the next morning. It has mostly dried, but it's still a little moist feeling. I'm going to give it the work day to dry some more. I'm going to do my best not to roll over it, but it is pretty firm. You can press on it. Obviously the bigger the hole, the more noticeable it's going to be when you're walking above it. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to switch to a lighter color. But I'm thinking for the larger holes, can you spot it? I'm liking the whiter hole, whiter fill more. Again, you're not going to get the color perfect. You know, you can get a micro brush and play around with the different striations and such. But our main goal is to fill these holes. So it looks like we'll go for a lighter, whiter shade because that jumps out less at you. For this next layer, we want to use a lot less water. So just a little bit, just a smidge. It's going to be the top layer. So we're getting the other color now, the light one. It hasn't solidified too much, so we're just going to directly add and do this outside. You want to be really careful about how much water you use. I can see it's getting the consistency we want on the inside here. Yeah, it's feeling a little doughy. Now that it's a good consistency, let's go inside. Here we can see our hole, and here we can see the light consistency. So here's the trick we were talking about earlier. If you have too much of a certain color left over, you can always fill the majority of the existing hole with the color you don't want, and then just top it off with the color that we do. As a result, you're going to leave more of your desirable color. Shift cardboard. Spreading it around, nice and even. It's okay if you get it on the surrounding floor. So just gently scrubbing it over. And once you're satisfied with the amount of filler in the primary hole, even though you might have surrounding filler on the tile around that, that is okay. In this specific case, we did two series of filler. So we did the main glob and let it dry longer. We did the top lever, top layer, and let it dry. We're going to let it dry a shorter period because it's a much thinner layer and needs much less time, maybe a couple of hours. We've left some extra on the surrounding tile. We're observing that the color matches a lot more closely to the tile. And if we 
we're so inclined, we could take some of the darker color at this point. We could, you know, make a pattern here to maybe match the tie a little bit here. I'm satisfied with the color as it appears. To get it even more perfect in the future, we can, of course, when this dries, when the second application layer dries, it's going to shrink a little too. So we can also go back and when it shrinks a little bit, maybe even make an even mega thin third layer and rinse and repeat until we are satisfied with the level of fill and the result. However, from experience, two applications is usually more than enough. So we're going to not apply any more fill kit and we're going to show you next what to do when you're happy with the color, when you're happy with the amount, how to clean this all up and get it looking perfect. Remember, we just had a hole here. Where's the hole that we just filled? All right, so good kit. And the hole, wait, uh, now I have to look for, oh, okay, there it is. This is what it looks like about an hour to two hours later. It's been a few hours and look at this ugly white splotch. Let's clean that up. At this point in time, let's take our handy dandy spudger and around the perimeter of the hole, we take the flat end and gently scrub away the excess. So I'm pressing on, oops, let me refocus that. I'm pressing on the marble side on the left side, not on the right side to avoid digging into the hole. peel this off a level. So I'm fixing this such that most of the spudger is actually on marble, not on the filled hole, to get it nice and level. And whenever I encounter a turn, just switch it over. So now I'm pressing on the marble side. There's a lot. Go. Okay. Go. And there we go. A moist paper towel. It's been about six hours and we could have probably given it more time to dry. So for that reason, I'm not getting the main hole that we filled too wet. <clears throat> and with that, we're basically done. And that big ugly white splotch has been filled or has been reduced. Is this still observable from the top? Yes. I will say that it was a pretty substantial hole to begin with. Uh, now we can actually press on it. Over time, you might have to repeat this procedure because for the larger, more substantial holes, they do eventually settle even more over time. Overall, I'm very satisfied with how this product works. As you can see, the marble floor becomes usable. The issue stops spreading, so the marble floor stops cracking in every direction. And it's super easy. You just have to be careful about ventilation, about cleanup, not breathing this stuff because it's a fine powder that goes everywhere. This product is ideal for small holes. Like this one. That one wasn't noticeable. That hole is. If you have any comments or questions, or do you have any tips on how to fill these better so that they match the texture better? Or are there any products that you like that I can make a video about and showcase here on the channel? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Catch you in the next one. This is while sitting on the chair. No problem.